here's an old GoPro Hero, and here's the new Go, GoPro Hero 3 Plus uh, Black Edition. And so I'm going to show you how to navigate it if you've never done it before. And if you uh, are familiar with the Hero 3, then maybe there'll be a few new things in here that you'll see that you've not seen before. So first of all, I'm going to power it up, and you always power it up just by pressing and holding this button. And you'll always hear the one, two, three beep, unless you turn that off. Now, I like to turn it off on mine, but I would recommend that for the first, you know, a little while that you use it, you go ahead and get used to uh, using the beeps. Uh, I kind of go into stealth mode now, turn all the beeps and lights off. But you can see I am in medium field of view. That's what the little M is there. 1080p 30 is what I am. The zero, zero tells me how many uh, videos I've got recorded on there. And then this other down here tells me, uh, you know, the amount, I guess, my, well, part of it's my battery life over here. And then this is the estimated amount of time that I can shoot uh, in this mode. Now, uh, one thing about that is it totally depends on what you're shooting. Sometimes your video can be, you know, a little bit bigger if it's more complex or if you're shooting in a different mode. So anyway, here we are. So let's say we don't want to shoot in medium field of view. Medium field of view is sort of my favorite. Let's say we, we don't want to shoot in 30 frames per second. Maybe we want to shoot wide field of view. We want to shoot in 60 frames per second. What you do, of course, is you, you kind of segue through these little things. You just press this button. Now, that's how it goes to photo mode there. So I would be shooting photos if I did that. That would be a time lapse. I'm sorry, that would be a time lapse. My bad. The other one would be in a photo sequence. Now, here we come to this. I'm going to press it right quick before it goes away. That is the, the little wrench is where you're going to change things, right? So the very first thing it comes up in is movie mode. So that shows me I've got my 1080p 30 medium. So I'm going to push on the top again. And now I can choose what I want to change. So let's say, uh, you know, maybe I want to switch everything. Maybe I don't want to be 1080p anymore. I'm going to click that. Then I've got all my different types that I've got, my different sizes. So right there is 4K. That's the 17.9 version, which is, um, you know, it's only 12 frames per second. So you want to, you, you have to learn these things, uh, you know, wh whether they're, you know, you know, the resolution you want to use or not. There's 4K. That would be 15 frames per second. You'll pick up all, all this later. Here's one I like a lot. It's 2.7K. And uh, I, I'm not doing the uh, seven the 17.9 aspect. See, there's one at 17.9. This one actually shoots a faster frame rate than this one, and this one has fewer pixels, the 2.779. So, interesting. so I'm going to click on that. So now you can see I've got that selected, and it does go 30 frames per second, and I can do a medium or wide field of view. I'm going to change it to wide. So I'm going to go there, and you see I've got wide. Now what it'll do, some of these presets will have certain width settings you can use. Some of them will just have wide. Some of them will have wide, medium, narrow. Some of them will have even a thing called super view, which I just don't much care to use. But I'm going to switch this one to wide. So I click this with my thumb, see to change back and forth like that toggle. I'm going to do that, and I press the top again to select it. Then you go back here to exit, hit the top again, and then you can go and do other things if you want to. This is where you change, you know, like for instance, if I want to change my photos while I'm in here, for the heck, I would go change that. And then this will let me select, you know, what kind of photo I'm going to be shooting. It's like there's a seven meg wide, seven meg medium, five meg. Uh, yeah. So there, here's you know, where you make your photo selection stuff. I'm going to get out of this again. I'm going to I'm going to toggle back out. You have to go to where what I do. I kind of look for the trash can, and I know the next one is how to get out of it. And there we go. Now it'll pop back up. I'll be in 2.7 K 30 wide. I'm ready to shoot. Now let's say you want to change some things like go into protein mode. A lot of people really want to go into protein. And the way, of course, that works is we'd segue back over here to the little wrench again. Click down. And there's all kinds of different stuff in here, you know, where you change things. Um, and capture settings is where you're going to go. That's a, like another level down. This is very cool. Let's say you want to hang your GoPro Hero 3 upside down. Like, for instance, I hang mine upside down from the inside of my windshield. It, uh, the mount works really well, so it can kind of hang and shoot back that way out my windshield. So you would choose that. And if you want to, you click into that, and it'll give you an option to go whether you're up or down. But this is, this is actually useful. Say you want to hang your GoPro Hero 3 from, the, from a stick and let it hang real close to the ground, like two inches off the ground, walk around and follow your dog. Like I've done a video following my pug that way. Then this is a good way to shoot to get that pug's eye view. So I'm going to go ahead and you know, say that that's fine. We'll just leave it like you know the regular way. I'll just leave it on off. There we go. I'll go down, 
But I'm, where I'm trying to go right now is protein. So you can see, you can read about all these different things we're seeing. Protein notes where you're going to want to go if you're going to try to shoot the highest quality video and maybe use it with the Cineform codec. You'll use that uh, with the uh, GoPro Studio. But you know, this is also very useful. Those of you who are, who are editing already, you can you can bring Protune in to, straight into uh, uh, Premiere Pro without having to convert it, and you can still do some pretty rich color things with that. I have to say, most of the time I don't use Protune, but if I'm doing something really downright serious, then I might do this. So that's where you turn your Protune on. Now what happens when you turn Protune on, I will say this, a lot of the options go away for some of the frame rates and you know, it has to protein only works in certain settings so you can't do protein and everything but that's where you turn it on i'm gonna leave it off for now so i'm gonna go back and select back off and then i'm gonna segue back out once again you got your exit there then you got to exit out again you got to realize you're in two different places uh, oh yeah let's pass over the wireless settings it's actually very simple i could i should do i guess a different um a different video on how you set up your wireless. If you follow the instructions that are in the book uh, that comes with this, or the P download the PDF that does it, it will very easily tell you how to do this. It, it, it makes it harder almost in the book than it is to really do. It's not hard at all to pair it with the remote or to uh, use it with the app. You have to go download the app. The app does work a little faster with this Hero 3. Uh, I'll do a video probably on that too. I wouldn't say that it's like still perfect, but it's not bad much better than it has been. Fairly fairly quick response. It seems to lag for me, I don't know, close to a half second behind what happens with the, the actually, you know, on the GoPro. But that's that's still pretty good if you want to use that. Um, I honestly very seldom even have to use the app or use even the little backpack thing. I've got the backpack that goes on the back that gives you a screen back here. And I use it just very rarely. I just pretty much have learned that wherever I point this thing, I've started to learn how the, the field of views just allow me to get something good and usable no matter, as long as I'm pointing just right in the general direction, <laughs> it does a great job. So I'm going to get out of this for a moment. The other thing you might want to do for sure right off the bat if you're, uh, if you're just starting out is you want to set your date and time and everything. And so that is, uh, I must have missed it. Okay, that's, that's inside the, my back here, folks. That beep can drive you nuts. So you can turn the volume down on that. You're going to go into setup to change some things like that. So we go in here and uh, looks like, I guess that must be the, uh, oh, okay, that, that's default. By default, you can set it to come up as a camera or set it up as a camcorder. And that's where that's going to allow you to do that. There's your one button on off. There's your, uh, what are you going to go for PAL if you're uh, overseas? You know, if you're in, in North America, you're going to use NTSC. So I always leave mine on that. Here's where you can turn your blinking light on. You know, when you record, uh, you, there'll be a, this light, one of these lights will blink. And I sometimes don't even want people to know I'm doing that. I'm not trying to do sneaky videos. Just people act different if they see a blinking red light. Uh, I never try to hide my GoPro or anything, do anything stealthy. I just walk around shooting with it. But if the red light's off, that's useful to me. <laughs> so I probably, well, I probably right now, I'm going to change that. I'm going to say off. Here's where you change the volume. Uh, my wife and my pug just came in, so you're going to hear some pug sounds. <laughs> Here's where you change the volume. You can go down to like, you know, what does it say, 70% there, or you can go off. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do off because I do. I, I like to have this thing very quiet and not be driving us crazy anymore. So here we go, folks. So that's kind of the main things. You can see I need to go in here to set that. Uh, that just will get, give you an idea of what you've got to do to get around a little bit. It's by no means uh, exhaustive. I could sit here and we could go for hours just trying to, um, to go through everything that this little thing will do and all the different modes. But you, the main thing I wanted to make sure you're aware of is how to change your video, how to go into the different modes, how to change your field of views, and you've, you've seen how to do that, and then uh, how to maybe turn these noises and buttons and things on and off. All in all, very nice. I'm enjoying shooting video with this. Uh, check out my channel and you can see all the other things that I've posted. And uh, maybe you'll find it helpful too. Good luck if you're just starting new. Um, like I say, uh, great color with this one. Better, better color. A little bit sharper. A small bit better audio quality. And, uh, you know, I have to say all in all, 
pretty decent little update. Still wish it would do a few things that it doesn't, but uh, GoPro's headed in the right direction. Thanks, everybody. Send me, uh, send me any comments or questions that you have, and I'll try to address those. Thanks.